friends. Today we're going to be doing a hands-on measurement activity. Um, so I'm going to be using paper clips to measure with, but you can use other objects if you don't have paper clips. For instance, you could use Legos um, if you found them the same size to do the activity. But I actually suggest that you watch me do the activity separately and then do do it on your own and there will definitely be flexibility on what you're using to as far as the objects you're measuring as well because I know it's challenging to find some things at your house so I want to make sure that everybody can participate. Okay so first of all we're going to start out with the vocabulary. <coughs> the type of measurement that we're doing today is length so I just want to remind you that length is the measurement of something from end to end. And when we were comparing objects, we were saying that how important it was to have the same starting point. And um, that's going to look a little bit different with what we're doing today, but I will explain that to you. So those of you who are in my class we'll get a, a page something like this um, attached in Google Classroom. If you can't print it out, you could make a table like this yourself. And, or if you're not one of my students, you can make something like this as well, okay? So as I said, it says measuring. It's measuring with paper clips. So I'm gonna be doing that. Um, in using the paper clips, I wanna point out that paper clips oftentimes come in two sizes or you know there are some really big ones but there's two standard sizes but just to make sure that when you're measuring that you are using the same size paper clips because it will throw off the measurement if some of your paper clips are bigger than the others okay so on the chart the objects that it says to measure are a ruler a glue bottle a tissue box and in your shoe, okay? So if you don't have some of the, these things, that is okay. I just ask that like if you don't have a ruler that you um, put a line through that and then you write what object you did measure instead of a ruler, okay? Now this is gonna look like a graph when you're done um, because when you're measuring the things then you're going to color in, you know, how many uh, paper clips it was. Okay, so I'm going to take the camera off of my face so you can see how I do this, okay? So I'm going to start with my glue bottle. I'm not going to do all for the activity, I mean of the objects. I'm just going to do a couple of them to give you an idea how to do it. Okay, so here is my glue bottle. So kind of that idea of the starting point um, is you have to make sure that you start at the, I just want to make sure you guys can see this. Let's see. Um, okay, there you can see. Um, that you want to make sure that you start at the very end of the glue bottle. Now I have to say, I have found in doing these measurement videos that there's a little bit of an optical illusion <laughs> where it looks like on this on the screen it looks like it's not lined up to where it is um, to the end but I promise you it is okay so you line it up to the end that's one and then when I get the next one I'm going to have that paper clip touch the one that's right um, behind it they have to touch because like if you were leaving a gap then you're not really measuring it accurately okay so one two <clears throat> gonna put another one here three okay and that's another funny thing is it doesn't look like they're touching when I look up on the camera but they are three four okay now I want to go down to the end of the glue cap to measure how long this is that's four, and then here's five. Okay, now in looking at this, it's not the whole paper clip. It's only about half of it, okay? So when I am going to put this on my chart, get a crayon. Okay, so for the glue, 
you notice that we have one, two, three, four, and we have five, okay? So for the glue, I'm gonna color so I know it was it was the one. It was one for sure. There was a second one. I used a second one. I used a third one. I used a fourth one. And then like I said, it was about half of one. So I'm not gonna go all the way up to the top of the five. I'm just gonna to go to about halfway and color it about halfway. Okay, so it looks like that. So that's one, two, three, four and a half. One, two, three, four and a half is what I got. Okay, so I'm gonna measure one more to give you an idea of how, how to do it. Okay, here's my, this time I have a tissue box. Okay, so I am going to, which one do you think is, is going to be longer? Hmm, let's see which one do you think is going to be longer. Okay, so once again, I'm going to start at the very end of it. Once again, if it doesn't look like it, it is, I promise. Okay, one, two, remember to, to put them right up against each other where they touch, even if it doesn't look like it on the camera. Two, three, four, five. Okay, actually, I think five looks really good. Five looks really good on this one, okay? So it's a little bit longer than the glue. Maybe I'll use a different color so it stands out different. But here's my tissue box. So we definitely, one of them, we filled one of them, two of them. I needed a third one. I needed a fourth one. And then it was pretty much, it was the whole length of the fifth one. So I'm going to color, this time I'm going to color all the way up to the top because it, uh, it it really went to the end on that one okay so there we go um so hope you have fun with this activity and i'd love to see you send me uh, a picture of the chart and if you want to send me a picture of one of the things that you measured that would be great if you don't use paper clips um, also tell me up here what you used instead okay so like i said i want everybody to be able to participate so figure out what you can use if you don't have all the objects that are on this page. Okay, I will talk to you soon.